Well, hello there, guys, and welcome back to the Thirty Years' War, the Battle of Pilgrim Lomnitz. I hope I'm saying that correctly here. Um, if you guys left off with us last time, you know that we've been trying to cross this river, um, but at the, I shouldn't say this river, this land bridge here, but at the same time, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to send some cavalry units over here to the right and some cavalry units over here to the left to come in and do a sort of pincer movement on the remaining tercios here in the center. And eventually, we can obviously deal with the rest of their uh, army here. Now, first things first, I want to make sure that our actual guns are aiming the right way, and I don't think they are, so I'm going to have to sadly limber them up um, and move them next turn into a better position, um, basically aiming towards the enemy. I may even move them to the sort of the, the rim of this body of water here. So, so far we moved all of our troops this turn, and we're going to go ahead and see what the enemy has in store for us. So let's press end turn and see what they've got. All right, actually, we dispersed a unit. It was just funny. They were right in front of some Terracios, and they just said, forget this. We're not winning this battle. We give up. Um, so there we go. They spotted our actual um, advance guard of horse cavalry. Uh, of cavalry, I should say. Of course, it's horse cavalry. We're, we're not in the 20th century. There are no helicopters here. Um, and, of course, we're going to go ahead and continue here um, and try to catch the enemy off, sort of um, offhand, um, see what we can do. So I'm going to go ahead and start moving towards where I want to move. Now, this is where I'm a little confused. Um, I could either have these guys assist me in taking out these Terracio units, or I could have them go and charge against these Hussars, and the Hussars are very powerful. Um, in fact, Hussars have these sort of, uh, I guess you'd call them a scimitar, although I'm sure it's not actually called a scimitar. There's a better name for it. Um, scimitar, I think, is specifically for Islamic um, weapons. I may be wrong on that, but I know that the Hussars would use a blade, a saber. That's what it is, a saber. Um, that would absolutely cleave you into. It really would. Um, with, with little to no effort. It, it was just an amazing, amazing weapon. Um, so once we get into combat with our horsemen versus theirs, I'm not sure our Arquebusiers are going to stand up very well uh, against a legion of Hussars. So we're probably going to try to go for the center really, really quick. Um, I'm going to go ahead and move these guys up, start moving my main infantry up. Unfortunately, we can't fire yet, but that'll come soon. Uh, let's go ahead and get these Tercios up as well. And these are not veteran Tercios. The enemy has veteran Tercios. These are basically just some mercenaries that decided to go ahead and join our war. Which, hey, I'm not gonna not gonna argue with them. That's great, but um, really they're not as strong in these, as these guys over here, which is why we're gonna need those cavalry units to help us desperately. Um, these Arkhapaziers can also go with this unit over here. And let's move the rest of the infantry up. And yes, we'll get these cannons into place. We'll move one right there. And we'll move one right here. And I want to see if I can unlimber them this turn. That would be awesome if we could. Um, but I think we need to wait a turn. No, there we go. We unlimbered. Um, can we fire? No, I think we're going to have to wait a turn to fire. But this is already starting to concern me because already I'm not able to view them. Um, but let's go ahead and see what happens. We'll keep moving these Tercios up, too. Um, I was going to send these Tercios over here to the left flank, but I think it's probably better to go ahead and send all the infantry units right to the center um, and all the cavalry units out to the sides uh, and, and sort of create that pincer movement I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and end our turn. All right, more... Wow, that was a nice hit. 19 of my men down. And there we go. Our cavalry is still chasing that unit of, uh, of musketeers that were kind of just pegging at us. Uh, from the woods. And there we go. They've disrupted a cavalry unit. That's not good. Um, I may even send that cavalry unit back because I don't want to get any real interruptions right now in this attack phase. Uh, but we're, we're just going to have to see what happens. All right, our turn again. And I'm liking that we're getting closer to these guys. Uh, I want to see, can we already hit these guys? All right, it wouldn't be very effective right now. So I'm just going to move up and open fire. Um, 18, that's a lot of damage. So I'm going to go ahead and move these guys up. And unfortunately, these guys are nearly dispersed, so I'm sure the next attack from the enemy could finish them off totally. Uh, but I'm kind of glad that I did this. I I'm more and more confident with this idea of sending these guys in to attack from the right and left flank. Um, and I hope that that continues to work. So let's keep moving these guys up, and let's focus on this guy right here, this unit. Um, we'll go ahead and right to the stream, open fire on the enemy. Uh, move these Arkhapaziers up as well. We fire? No, it's too far away, but we'll be there next turn, and we'll move these Arkhapaziers up as well. We want them to assist their friends uh, in crossing this area. Let's go ahead, we'll move up some of these guys, We're gonna open up on their Tercios. That's a nice hit, 25. That's the kind of hit uh, that will win us the battle. Let's go ahead and move up the rest of these uh, infantries. And this is a raw Tercio. This is 
practically useless. Um, just a bunch of peasants with little to no combat experience. But here we go. We're taking the bait. We're crossing the river here. So this is the one thing that I'm a little worried about. And one of the reasons I don't want to commit in immediately to sending all my infantry units here. But you know what? I'm going to commit to it. I'm going to do it. Um, I'm going to take my gut instinct here. And just keep moving forward. Because I think if we could break through here, uh, then we're finally going to be on even ground with the rest of these guys. Let's see if these cannon units can hit anything. Yes, they definitely can. That's awesome. They can hit these veteran tercios. It's exactly where I want these cannon units to be. And we're going to go ahead and hit that veteran tercio too. 20 and 33. That is beautiful for a cannon unit. Um, so we'll keep moving forward here. Uh, and let's end the turn and see what the enemy has in store for us. Make sure we, don't, we can't move anything else. No, we can't. And let's go. All right, residual shooting phase this always bothers me because they get really good hits with that cavalry. Okay, there we go. There, that in, that artillery, excuse me. Um, but that time they didn't, so we're doing all right. Uh, now the Catholic turn. Wow, our return fire was pretty pretty nice right there. Um, and now they're finally moving in. They're trying to close that gap. I can see exactly what they're going for. They see that we're crossing the, the river now, or the land bridge, so they're going to move all their troops in and try to trap us. And as I was worried be about before, those Hussars are coming in as well. Um, so I think what I need to do is eliminate the troops in the middle. I think our Tercios may be able to help deal with the Hussars, um, and we really just need to focus our, our attack on that center. Um, get across that, that land bridge, because if we don't get across that land bridge, we're finished. It's that simple. Beautiful. We had a unit rally to steady, so he was actually um, sort of dispersing, but now he's decided, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and fight, um, which is awesome. Unfortunately, it doesn't seem that he can shoot this turn. Alright, the Karasia is here. Uh, I want to see what kind of damage we could do to them, so let's go ahead... Yeah, it would be a definite loss. Uh, what about Arkhipazirs? See, we do have a chance against the Arkhipazirs. Um, but I'm a little concerned as to whether we should take that chance right now. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and actually turn this unit uh, towards this unit of veteran Tercios. And I'm going to open fire. Here we go. Let's go ahead and take a Tercio unit. And that is the awesome Commissar Bro asking to do another Don't Star video, which I'm totally going to do after this one. Uh, so expect a Don't Star video coming up very, very soon here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and see if we can start moving up. So as you can see here, I'll move up this unit. It may seem a bit odd to be moving when we have men right in front of us, but I think it's essential, essentially since we have all of these units bearing down on us, all of these cavalry units bearing down on us. Um, so let's go ahead. Can we charge these guys? We could, but it doesn't seem like the greatest idea. So, move up here and maybe deal some damage to the Karasiers. Um, do some more damage to the Karasiers. I'd re really actually rather target the Hussars, but um, I think we can we can get a little crazy here in this battle. Alright, there we go. Let's move the more Arkhipaziers up. Can we fire on those Hussars? No, they're far too far away. Far too far. Um, so, we're going to go ahead and pound the Veteran Tercios here, because um, we really want to break through this area. And I feel like we're close, but it's it's not an easy breakthrough by any means. These guys are tough fighters. Um, let's go ahead. We'll move forward with this guy. We'll open fire. Move forward with this veteran turret. Open fire. Fire with this guy. Apparently not. Um, okay, so we'll hang out now. And for now, guys, I'm probably going to first. Glad I didn't give up right away. So this is interesting. Uh, if we charge these Archipazir units, we have 14% chance to win, 14% chance to lose. I honestly think it's a worth it risk. I'm going to charge, and this may be an awful idea. Uh, and it's pretty even. We lost 12, they lost 9. Uh, but we need to we need to do stuff here. We really need to come up with new ideas. So I'm going to go ahead and actually turn here. I'm going to open fire on the Hussars. Um, it would be awesome. Wow, look at that. If we charge the Hussars on the flank, they're going to evade. They just ran off the field. <laughs> That's awesome. So we know now we have to charge these Hussars on the flank. Um, I'm almost tempted to keep these units in the woods hidden and let the Hussars go ahead and move in and then come out and attack. And I've never done that in this game. Um, I've never kept units in reserve to just kind of wait for the enemy. But this time, I'm going to try. Um, so anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed that episode of Pike and Shot. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and wrap it up here, but uh, please make sure to give some advice for the next battle and uh, rate, subscribe, comment if you enjoy. Thanks, guys, and have an awesome, awesome day.